I know I've been using a lot of new products in my recent videos, but there has just been so much new products that have came out that I wanted to try and test out for you guys. And I do like to do a lot of review videos, so that way if there's something that you guys have been interested in buying, I can maybe help you guys out with your purchases and give you guys my honest feedback. But we are going to switch it out today and we are going to do a full face of nothing new. You guys, this is the look and I am very happy the way it turned out. We found a bunch of good products in my collection that frankly I need to use up <laughs> and use more often because like I said, it's just was so good and the products I loved a lot. There were a couple of duds, but we will get into that in the video. But before we get into today's video, if you're new here, hi, my name is April. I would hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and get into this full face of nothing new. Okay, I know I'm looking a little bit crazy right now, but let me explain. I did do a couple things off camera. First thing first, if I'm looking a little bit bronzed, it is because I did use the e.l.f. bronzing drops just because the foundation that I'm going to use, I feel like it's going to be a little bit too light for me. I know this is new, but this is the only thing that I had that I could make the foundation work and I really wanted to use the foundation that we we're going to be trying, well not trying, but using in today's video. And then I did go ahead and I did my eyebrows off camera just because it's boring. I did go in with this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel. I don't like this. <laughs> so I'm probably going to declutter this. This made a mess. Um, I feel like my eyebrows are looking a little bit thicker than usual. And it's because of this. I definitely had to go in with something to clean it up. So I just went ahead and I got this Glossier Stretch Concealer. I have it in the shade G11. Normally I use this for concealer, but I just went ahead and I cleaned up my eyebrows with this. And then I did go ahead and I did eyeshadow off camera as well because this palette that I use, technically, it's not old but it's not new new it is new to me i've never tried it this was the first time and i really wanted to try it um i'm talking about the natasha denona yucca palette and you guys i am really surprised that i actually really like the way my eye look turned out and these eyeshadows were really easy to work with um i did go in with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion the original one now that I look back, when I did my Urban Decay Naked Palette, um, when I used the Naked Palette, I didn't use this, and I should have used this, but I'm definitely going to have to use this with that eyeshadow palette. But anyways, yeah, I did go ahead and I went in with eye this eyeshadow palette, and I love the way this eye look turned out. So that is what I did off camera. Let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the makeup. So for foundation, I haven't used this foundation in quite a long time. And I remember really loving it. It is getting on the older side. So I want to see if I still love it as much as I think I do. And to see if it's a little bit too old to keep in my collection. But I'm talking about the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. It just looks like this. I do have mine in the shade Light 50W. Um, but, oh um, well, I guess now since I bronzed my face, it doesn't look too, too bad, but I have a feeling that this is going to be a little bit too light, so hopefully the e.l.f. bronzing drops helps, but I'm just going to shake it real quick because I've had this sitting in my collection for a long time. <laughs> I was going to mix in the bronzing drops with the foundation, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough of the bronzing drops on, so I just went out with the bronzing drops automatically. I know people say that the bronzing drops gets patchy if you don't mix it with something, but I find that I just blend it in really good and it works for me. So you might wanna do that. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I didn't bring my palette out, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple, ooh, squirts on my back of my hand. Um, I just got a big old chunk of foundation now. I should have uh, fix something. It is looking a little bit watery, um, but hopefully, like I said, it's not, it doesn't smell or nothing. So hopefully this works, but I'm just going to go ahead and spread it on my face. Yeah, you see, this is definitely too light for me, but we're going to go ahead and make it work. We're going to use bronzer. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead 
and blend this out real quick and blend it to the neck so once I have it on it doesn't look too bad but I definitely feel like the bronzing drops helped quite a bit <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest with you um, but yeah that is what it's looking like with just one side you can't really tell on camera um, let me go ahead and put some on my nose so that way you guys can see what it looks like I'm gonna put a little bit more right here Oh, this brush is going to get super dirty because I have foundation on my hands. Usually I don't like to go in with my fingers, but I don't want to put it directly onto the um, brush. Ooh, this is looking nice. I am getting medium coverage, but like a good solid medium. Almost full if I'm not mistaken yeah I definitely think this is turning out good wow I like I like the way that looks look at that looks really really nice so far so good so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna do the rest of my face real quick because I don't want this video to be too too long but let me go ahead and just put a little bit on the forehead that looks nice and the bronzing drop does not look bad so that is with one side of the foundation yeah that definitely does match better and then I feel like once we put bronzer on it's gonna match even more so let me go ahead and do this other side okay foundation is on and you guys I love the way this is looking I'm gonna have to pull this out and use it some more so this is definitely gonna stay in my collection Oh, I just I love the way this looks it looks really nice so moving on to concealer I've been wanting to try this one out again um, this is from hourglass it's been a minute since I've used it this is called the I'm not 100% sure what it's called but it's in the shade sepia it's the vanish I believe um, everything that I use in today's video will be linked in the description box it's not affiliated links or anything it's just um, so it's there for you guys to see what I use but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and this one's getting older too mm, it smells a little bit but I don't think it's going bad just yet hopefully not <laughs> I was gonna put some right here in the inner corner and then the outer corner and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out uh, hopefully let's see if I can find my BK Beauty brush I'm gonna use this BK Beauty and Angie hot and flashy a506 concealer brush just looks like this I have been loving this brush I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this concealer out Ooh, this looks really nice too I'm gonna do the forehead right here I'm gonna leave my under eyes for last just so that way I can let the uh, concealer dry a little bit but so far that is looking Nice. I love the way that looks. Moving on to cream bronzer before I put on powder. I do want to put on this cream bronzer from NARS. This is the bronzing cream in Laguna 02 original it's been a hot minute since I put this on um, I don't know I didn't really I like I liked it but I wasn't crazy about it like other people were um, as you can tell I have quite a bit of product in here so there's just other bronzers cream liquid bronzers that I've been uh, reaching for more than this one but it's not a bad product but like I said I just I'm not crazy about it like everybody else seems to be but I'm just gonna go ahead and put my brush into the product make sure it's coated evenly I am using the dips um, brush I love this brush and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is because I know this picks up quite a bit I'm gonna go ahead and just tap 
the excess on the cap. I know this makes it look dirty and everything, but I just don't want to have too much product. And then let's actually start on the forehead first. Oh, this looks nice. And then I'll work it down to my cheeks. And then I'll blend it out with the foundation brush if I need to, but I'm just gonna, oh yeah, I got quite a bit. Oh, and I really don't need a lot because those bronzing drops ah oh, what happened here see and I just feel like I got too much I don't know I don't like it like like I said um but I want to use it still I just feel like it's making me look muddy you know what I mean Ooh, I don't love this I'm just gonna do this and then I think what I'll do is Maybe get another brush, maybe a clean brush. I'm dropping things, I'm getting a little nervous now. <laughs> Let's see, maybe getting this brush and tapping it to see. Let's see, how does that look? Okay, that looks better. Looks better than what it did a second ago. Maybe if I take my foundation brush and just, like I said, Put it around here but oh, I just I uh, feel like it's too too much for me maybe I'll just stab my foundation brush on top of it and then that is what it's looking like it's nice it's just not my favorite let's move on to loose powder for loose powder now this isn't the packaging I had to pour it into this container because the packaging for the original product that I'm going to use sucks <laughs> I'm talking about the RCMA no powder I believe that's what it's called I'll put a picture right here of what it actually looks like it actually looks like um I want to say like a parmesan cheese shaker you know what I'm talking about and it is so messy and inconvenient this is messy too but this is a little bit better I just put it in this pretty vulgar container but um this is what it looks like uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to gently put some in the cap whoa see it just got everywhere and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my poof it just looks like this I got it off of Amazon and I'm going to first I'm gonna get a brush ready my original concealer brush because I want to make sure I don't have no creases and then I'm going to tap my sponge into the product evenly and then I'll try to dab it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in the back of my hand to distribute it distribute it evenly just like that and then yeah this is just ugh, so messy but I remember really liking the way it looked underneath my eyes were well, actually all over when I put it on but I just it's so inconvenient and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put this underneath my eyes first and then wherever else I want to put powder around here around here on my nose in between my eyebrows this is mainly where I get oily so this is probably just where I'm gonna keep the powder and then I'll put some like underneath my neck just like that um I feel like right now it's leaving me a white cast underneath hopefully it's not underneath my eyes but that is what it looks like hopefully right now I'll be able to um put some setting spray and it can stop it from looking I don't want to say cakey but powdery you know what I mean so let me go ahead and do the other side I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing I do want to put a little bit of cream blush on so for that I'm gonna use this honest beauty blush this is in the shade rose pink this is just the cream cheek blush now this is I believe if I'm not mistaken the older packaging um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is older packaging, so 
like I said, I've had this for a while. I don't think I've really used this to be honest, but I'm gonna go ahead, make sure it doesn't smell. I wanna make sure that I still want it in my collection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to distribute it evenly on the back of my hand, just like that. And then just put a little bit on my cheeks. That's pretty. I like the way that looks. It just gave me a flush. That is really pretty. And then I think what I want to do is I'll just get my poof, maybe. No, I don't think I want to do that. Um, I'm trying to see what I want to do. I guess I'll just use my concealer brush and just go around the edges right here. I feel like I put a little bit too far up. I'll go ahead and do the same on this side. This side's not bad. It's mainly this side where I feel like I went too high up, but that is pretty. I like the way that looks. I'm debating if I wanna put some on the bridge of my nose. Let's see. Cause we did put powder on the nose already, so I don't want it to pick up the foundation underneath, but actually no, I didn't do it. Ooh, that is pretty okay I like the way that looks I am happy now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put a little bit of um, powder bronzer and for that I'm using something that's been sitting in my collection I've used it um, but I don't remember how I feel exactly about it I know everybody loves this bronzer I am talking about the Milani bronzer this is the silky matte bronzing powder in the shade 03 suntan hopefully this is not too dark for me also i am going to be in trouble i'm just going to use my regular brush that i use this is the morphe m581 brush and i'm just gonna put my brush in there i feel like it's kind of powdery i don't remember it being this powdery but we'll just put a little bit and I see gardeners outside my window. Oh, I might have to take a break, you guys. Um, ooh, this is nice, too. Okay, I like the way this is looking. Let me just put some more on this side. I'm just dabbing it. And then I'll put some on my forehead. Ooh, this is pretty. I love the way this bronzer looks. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull a lot of these out to use, but so far that is looking really, really good. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna just um, probably bake underneath because I feel like I brought the bronzer down just a little bit too much. And then I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna get a, um, a dual fiber brush and then we'll come back and then I'll do the rest of the makeup. Okay, I took the baking off. Now let's go ahead and put on powder, blush, and highlighter. For powder blush, I wanna put on this one from Lunar Beauty. This is the Cheek Palette um, Moon Prism Blush Palette. Just looks like this. And then this is what the colors look like. It's been a hot minute since I've used this palette. Um, I do really like this, I remember that. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm probably gonna mix these two shades right here. Um, one is matte and the other one I feel like has a little bit of shimmer so I'm just going to get a little bit of both and then I feel like I got quite a bit on my brush so I'm just going to tap some off ooh that is pretty 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 Whatever's on the brush, I'll just put it on the bridge of my nose. Get some more for the other side. And if I forgot to tell you, the shades are gravity and spacey. Okay, eyes are done except for mascara, but real quick, I wanted to tell you guys what I did on my eyes. I don't think I even told you guys, sorry. So what I went ahead and did was I started off with a little bit of 
valley right here and I mixed it in with fushi I think that's how you say it just very very little of it and I just got a big fluffy brush and put it all in my crease all the way up to the brow bone and then I went ahead with this shade up here this green shade this is called Calithia and I put it in the inner and outer corner and then I went ahead and I used um, Komoribi, I believe, this one right here. I used it with the brush first, a dry brush, and then I sprayed it again. I sprayed it after a second time because I didn't get the pop that I wanted to. And then I topped it with my finger um, with pl Plantasia, which is this shade right here. So that is what the eye is on the top. And then for the lower lash line, well, actually, for the inner corner, I try to go in with. Camu cam Camu 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 I believe that's how you say it this shade right here and it wasn't bright enough for me so what I went ahead and did was I topped it with this shade again right here the shimmer shade and that is what I got in the inner corner I really like the way that came out and then for the lower lash line I went ahead and I put Ixia this shade right here and I just blended it out and then I did go ahead and I put this um, Essence Stay and Play Gel Liner in my waterline. For some reason, it was having a hard time getting in my waterline, which I've never had a problem with this before. And I uh, swatched it on the back of my hand to see if maybe it was dried out. And it didn't feel dry out or anything. It was still soft. So I don't know why I had such a hard time with this. But that is what I did on my eyes. And so now let's go ahead and put on highlighter. For highlighter, I have not used this one in such a long time. <laughs> I am talking about the Wet n Wild Precious Petal Highlighter. This is such an OG classic. This is so old, you guys. Like, my packaging is about to fall off. But that is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some on this fan brush. This is an old Jaclyn Hill brush. Couldn't find a brush that I wanted to use, but we'll just go ahead and use this one I'll go ahead and put it right here and I'll go ahead and put it in my brow bone so that's what it looks like it's pretty but I remember this having more pigment I wonder if it's because of the brush I used I'm gonna have to use it again but with a different brush I'm trying to see if I can find a brush that I could grab to use but I don't have one that I see that I want to use but it is nice. So that is what it's looking like. Actually, that is really pretty. I think I just had to work with it a little bit. But let me go ahead and blend it out. So now what I'm going to do is before I put on um, mascara, let's go ahead and put on setting spray and then we'll do the lips. So for setting spray, I remember not liking this because I feel like this is a little bit too dewy for me. But we're going to put it on again today. This is from Benefit and this is the Professional Super Setter. just looks like this. Supposedly it's long lasting makeup setting spray. Um, I think if I can remember correctly, this was long lasting, but I, like I said, I felt like I got dewy at the same time. I don't know. It was really weird, um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And then I also forgot, I don't know if I mentioned, I will leave a pinned comment to let you guys know how this makeup wore because I do plan on wearing it for the rest of the day. It's about noon right now. But this, this is such a fine mystery. Like, I felt like I put nothing on my face, but I'm pretty sure when I watch this again, <laughs> I'll be like, April, did you really need that much um, setting spray? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. Uh oh, it did leave me a couple of water droplets. So let me see if I can find, yeah, my poof. Just maybe go like that. It's not too many, but... Man, I really like the way this makeup look turned out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the lips together and then I'll show you what mascara that I'm going to use and I'll just put it off camera. So for lip liner, I want to use one of these KKW lip liners. I know these are not available anymore, but 
I do want to use it today and I want to try to finish these. So I have a couple shades. I have Nude 2.5, Nude 0 0.5, and Nude 0, I believe. This one is the one that I've used the most. So let's not use this one today. Let's use one of these. Um, <coughs> let's go ahead and use the darker one. Sorry, guys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to line my lips with this. I'm going to swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I want to use one of these lipsticks. These are also not available, but these are from Tarte. Um, I forgot what collection this was from. But anyways, I have it in the shade Colada and Rum Punch. So let's go ahead and swatch it real quick. This is Colada. And then Rum Punch. Ooh, that is pretty. Um, okay, so Rum Punch is this one, and then this is Colada right here. Um, I don't know, which one do you guys think we should use? I think I'm going to use this one right here. I forgot what I said it was, but I'll figure it out right now. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to put these two on. And then I might as well just do this off camera real quick. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Fenty Mascara. This is the Hella Thick Mascara. Um, I remember really loving this. I want to make sure it's still good. So that's why I'm using it. Like it's not dried out. But yeah, let me go ahead and do these uh, things real quick. Okay guys, this is the final look. What do we think? I love the way this makeup turned out. This is what the mascara is looking like. It is still good, um, so I'm glad I could still use it and I still love it, but uh, I just love it. I cannot wait to uh, go out and wear this makeup today. Uh, real quick, I did go ahead and I uh, put on Rum Punch for my lipstick. And then I think that's all that you guys missed. So real quick, let's go over the products that I used in today's video. I practically loved everything that I used except for two-ish products. Um, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel, it's not my favorite. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it just because I have other brow gels that I like more than this. So this one I'm gonna declutter, not my favorite. And then the NARS Cream Bronzer, again, it's not my favorite. It's a little bit too pigmented. I was able to make it work, but I have other cream bronzers that I like more than this. Um, yeah, I just, people really love it, and I just don't love it as much. I'm not going to declutter it, but it's just not a favorite. And then this, I don't know what happened. The Essence uh, Eyeliner, when I swatched it, like I said, it swatched good, but when I put it in my waterline, it didn't want to stay, so... I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, those were the products that were not my favorite. One, I'm going to declutter. And then real quick, I do have one, two, three, four, five products that were standouts in today's video. First is the Milani uh, bronzer. This is really nice. I'm going to have to pull this out and use it some more. This looks like I barely even touched it, but I promise you I have used it before. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I also really like the way my makeup looks with this foundation on. Um, it's just a little bit light, but I like it with the e.l.f. bronzing drop. So I'm definitely going to use this and the bronzing drops together so I can make it work for me. And then the Hourglass Concealer. I really do like the way this looks as well. It's creasing just a little, little bit, but not as bad. Like you could barely tell, but yeah, this I really love and I'm going to have to use this up before it goes bad. And then the powder I really do like. I just don't like the packaging. 
I wish I, they had different packaging, but the powder is not bad at all. And then finally, I love this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Even though this is not like an older palette, um, you know, I still wanted to use it. It is, it's older, but not as old as, you know, some of the other products that I tried in today's video. But overall, I really did like the way um, this eyeshadow look turned out one more time let me go ahead and show you guys what the final look looks like what do we think let me know in the comments down below but yeah guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed let me give you guys one last reminder if you are not already subscribed i would love if you would subscribe to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and until the next time i will catch you guys later bye